my kids are white. And you know what's interesting about that? I meant that 100%, right? And here's why. My kids are 100% white and they're 100% black. They're not half of each, right? So therefore, we believe that all lives matter. You see what I'm saying? No, I don't see what you're saying. So you can respectfully shut the hell up. What do you mean your child is 100% white? Because the math isn't math. It make it make sense. So so what are you going to do when your 100% white child gets stopped by the cops? Tell me. What are you going to do when your 100% white child gets called the N-word and all the other nasty names that they have for us? What are you going to do then? What explanation are you going to give to your 100%? Well, she didn't take that too kindly, did she? I, I, I see what he's saying because my kids are biracial too. My, my kid's mother is white. But I always, I always look at it that way too. It's weird, right? Because it's 100% you. And then it's 100% white. Intertwine, you get the mixture. That's what they say, biracial. Mixed, right? That's the way I look at it too. And then she, then she goes on to say that um, all, all, the, all the, the mean names that you know white people call us. But to be honest with you, yes, we know those times how, they, how it used to be, right? But friends that I went to school with, that were really dark skinned. They used to get made fun of by black people, bullied and harassed by black people because they were darker skin complexion, but they were black. There's, there's a darker shade. But they used to get, not by the white kids, not at all. <laughs> not at all. But they used to get made fun of, picked on, laughed at. So I don't understand why she act like we don't do, do the same thing and, and call each other names because we got a darker skin complexion. We do the same thing. We can't be hypocrites. You got. We, I, I got to call it how it is, and that's exactly how it is. Why do we act like we don't pick on each other and call each other names because of some, our skin complexion? You ever heard the term um, light skin? Oh, he's light skin. We the ones came up with that. I'ma just say this: for anyone who really thinks that they're mixed children or half black children are white if you really think that okay i'm gonna need you to go to the nearest grocery store gas station down to your neighbor's house whoever and i need you to go up to the first white person you see and i need you to say when you look at my child what do you see you need to ask it just like that because they're gonna tell you and trust me, they don't see a 100% white child. They're going to hurt your feelings, which is exactly what needs to happen for you to wake up. You need to wake up. No, I don't take my kids a 100% white. I understand what he was saying. We, he, he said 100% black and 100% white. He's not saying, unless I misunderstood what he said. You guys let me know in the comments. I'm going to go back and listen to it again. He said 100% white, 100% black intertwine you know you got biracial mixed that's the way i look at my kids they don't take a they don't take a half of me and a half white and put it together <laughs> yes 100 100 mixed together i understand i understand why they say half and half i get that but when i listen to her talking now i know i see where the where the, where the hurt comes from right and this is where the hurt really comes from look TikTok, my dad is trying to sue me and I need y'all's help in making this story go around. Yeah, get your popcorn because you don't want to miss this. My famous father is suing me for the book that I wrote about him and my experience being abandoned by him. So I received a, a letter in the email this past week saying that if I do not unpublish my book, I will be getting a lawsuit from him. And the reason is he's scared that the one part of his life that he has tried to keep in the dark for so long is now brought into the light. Now, what led to me writing this book is I ran into my father accidentally last year at the Cardinal store. His name is Vince Coleman. He's a St. Louis Cardinals Hall of Famer, okay? When I ran into him at the store, he would barely look me in the eye. I asked him why he abandoned me, why he's refusing to have a relationship with his clearly grown daughter. He wouldn't even look me in the eye, you guys. He wouldn't answer my questions. He, and then he ended up leaving the store. So it seems like she has a lot of um, 
daddy issues, right? I grew up with a um, fatherless home. I didn't, I didn't get to meet my father until I was actually, like, I think I was like 13 years old. So, so I see where the hurt comes from. And I'm not sure why he's suing her for the book. Maybe you said some things that should be, I, I don't know, that's fabricated, that's false. I'm not too sure. But I see where the hurt comes from. And I'm not sure who her father is. I can't speak for him, but I can speak for, for me and people that I know that want you this um, similar situation. I don't know why some men do it. Like, they'll just completely, coldly shut their kid right out their life. Like, I mean literally shut them right out. It's one of the coldest things that somebody could actually do. When you know it's one of the kid look just, it could be a twin. But they'll shut them right out. Like, I don't understand. But that's something that you, you got to um, deal with and cope with. Or get somebody to talk to therapy. Some, if your dad is really, if he's really shutting you out his life completely. And you can't even get a butt in there. I'm surprised you take some time, self-healing. Talk to somebody, even if you have got a best friend, somebody in the family, find somebody to talk to, because it can really get to you mentally. I kind of know a few people, even my girlfriend with her um, her daughter, she's going through the, the same situation. Like her father is just completely just cold. So I could relate to what she's going, but that's something that you got to personally take care and deal with because now you're lashing out on the world that has no idea. What happened in your situation? Like, that's what we gotta stop doing. Cause I grew up with a fatherless home. Like I said, as I was angry, but I was angry at the people in my life, not just everybody. I think that's what people do that's wrong because check what she goes on to say. Yeah, we gotta talk about this. And before y'all come at me in the comments, <laughs> this is a personal testimony as someone who has dated outside of my race, plenty, okay? A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all like what you see when you date a black woman. You, you, you love the beauty of black women, which I can't blame you. You love the aesthetic. You love how different we are. You love our bodies. But the problem is a lot of y'all don't even like black people. Yeah, let's talk about it. Bro, where are my black women at that have dated white men? Because y'all know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. The black women who have literally experienced being called the N-word by the white man that they're dating. Let's talk about <laughs> white men that have literally had children by black women but can't stand black people. Why do y'all do that? It honestly, it's, it, I'm discombobulated because make it make sense. Let, hold up, let me do some math real quick. All right, I see where she's going. I see, I see where she's going with this, but you gotta realize it goes both ways. It goes both ways. I know a lot of black girls that date white boys. One of the most beautiful black girl in the school was dating a black guy, right? But he was caught up in some, you know, the bang bang lifestyle, selling drugs. They had their first kid. He got arrested. That that took him out of the picture for years. All right? And I mean years and years. Then she met the white boy. Right? They had a kid together. They got engaged, got married. One of the coolest white boys. I see him. I, I remember, I remember him from back then. Coolest white boy. But well, I mean cool, he just cool. And they've been married for about what? Four plus years now, but they were, they were engaged prior to that. So all together they've been together for almost nine, ten years. It doesn't matter the race. Because somebody's white, that means they have an agenda to why they actually with a black person. No. Some people just that's just the person you were meant to be with, meant to fall in love with, you're meant to marry, meant to spend the rest of your life with. Why do people get <laughs> They, they, you know what they do? They take a little um situation that happens to other people and think that that's how it all happens all the time. No, it don't. No, I ain't talking about the black woman. I know black woman. And maybe because the, maybe the white boy says the N-word because the music influence. I don't think, I know a lot of people that says the N-word. You have to address them, but they didn't mean to say the disrespect because of the music and who they hang around. They adapt. You ever, you ever been around somebody or been around 
say, say you went to somebody's house and you heard a song multiple times, and all of a sudden you catch yourself singing that song. It happens to me all the time. So it's not that way. Call on white people, you know, to see names. You guys know what I'm talking about. YouTube, I can't say, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. In a disrespectful way. So it goes both ways. Like, what is she talking about? This is the, this is the, what I mean that she had daddy issues. You need to correct your daddy issues and get that solved. Get that worked out. If not with your father, with yourself in your heart. Get that hatred out of there. Yeah, it's not adding up. Because how you gonna date somebody and then just pretend the whole time like you really mess with them and fuck with them and whole time you racist as hell can't stand me true story i have a friend who's half white she says her dad is a stone cold racist when i say this white man hates it that his daughter identifies as a black woman Explain that to me, please. I want to know. Get in the comments and explain it to me, cause y'all been doing this shit since since slavery and even before then. Yeah, cause we haven't forgotten. We we ain't forgot. So y'all need to stop. If y'all really aren't down for black culture and black people, stop dating us because it's actually very disrespectful and it's hurtful and i'm not with it so stop you heard a guy she said stop all right so stop hey i i i caught her did you guys call when she just slipped up when she said me i think she got hurt by a white boy i'm just saying i read it i'm reading between the lines you guys let me know in the comments i honestly believe she got hurt she had daddy issues and she got probably got hurt and rejected by a white dude. I'm reading between the lines, her tone. And that's what it sounds like to me. And I know I know she's wearing a wig. I don't mind girls wearing a wig. But at least wear a wig where it looks like it's your type of hair texture. You know what I mean? Not that long, straight silk. Stop. Stop. But um <laughs> Yeah, she got hurt by a white boy. I'm re I'm reading between the lines. She literally got hurt by a white boy. And a lot of black girls. Well, you know, my girlfriend was white. We had two kids together. My current girlfriend right now is black. So, I honestly don't know what she thought. I, I don't understand what she's talking about because slavery, because, you know, that's how it went back then with slavery, with the white man and, the, you know, the, um, the black woman. We know how that went. We know how that goes. But it's 2023, and we know a lot of white girl. All right, I'm going I'm to hit you guys with this right here. Don't get into your feelings. Let me know in the comments. I know a lot of black girls that dated black men, but the black man had to carry himself in some type of way. I know you guys hear it in, in the black female songs these days, and maybe in the past too, but they, they wanna, it wasn't as strong as it is now. Cause a lot of black girls now, they, they want the thug, they want the gangster, they want the drug dealer, they want the one that's packing them tanks. Let's be honest, that's what, that's what they want, right? A lot of black girls don't like that. So a lot of white girls would date out of their race. They date white boys. Some of them want to leave. Look at Eve, the rapper Eve. She dating a full-blown white man. She was a hardcore rapper saying she want a thug and a gangster. Go back and listen to her songs. And her, she had a first, well, I'm not sure if she had a kid, but well, the kid that I know of, she had it with the white man. They married and they've been together for a while. It's been a good few years that they've been together now. But, uh, but you see what I'm talking about. Eventually, we, we no reason why a lot of black girls don't want to date black guys. It's the same reason why a lot of black guys don't want to date black girls. It goes both ways. So stop making it about, oh, that's one race and the white people just want to. No, it goes both ways, man. Some people can't help who they fall for. Some people just want a different type of lifestyle. They want to be in a different environment. They don't want to feel like they have to be a certain way just to make somebody happy. That's like that one black girl. She wanted a gangster. She wanted a thug. She got one. And guess what she got after that? Her life taken by that same thug. You gotta be careful what you ask for, man. And this and this is the type of um hypocrisy that I don't like. You gotta be honest. Don't sit there and act like all black women are faithful. 
Don't act that. Oh, they're all angels. Don't act. Don't 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 be like that. Be honest. It goes both ways. All race, everybody got messed up relationships. You gotta call it down the line. Don't try to act like it's only only white people and white people are oh, full blown racist. Maybe the dad, like what she was referring to, her friend, dad who's a full blown racist. Maybe doesn't like the the the, the um, typical black guy walking around with the gangster swag or the the, the, the flags hanging out the pocket or the do rags. Maybe that's don't like that. A lot of people don't like that. Even black people don't like that. They got black people, and then you got the 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 the, the hood. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't like that, man. It comes with a different type of energy, and you see the energy that comes with that. Why we acting like we don't know? Yo, we re we really <laughs> try to play white people for everything, for everything. We must be the most peaceful race there is in the world. Stop. Call it like it is, man. I love to hear you guys think about us in the comments. But like I said, I understand the father issue that she's going through. But I don't know the full con context of what really happened with her and her father. I don't know. I can speak from what I've been through and what I experienced and what I know other people that went through and experienced. I can only speak for that. So, like I said, she got to go get that taken care of, get therapy, find somebody to talk to. Because it's not like you got a lot of hate in your heart. It's not like you got yourself hurt by your father and a white man. That's 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 how I, that's how I, that's how I read between the lines the way she was talking. All right. So until then, man, I'll catch you guys in this video, man. Peace out. Have a blessed day. We gotta do better, man.